Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm here with Bethany. Hi. We are doing a collaboration. Yay! <laughs> um, how rude. Ooh. How rude. Okay, so I'm here with Bethany. We're doing a collaboration and we're going to be filming our Colourpop stuff. My video is obviously going to be on my parcel. Bethany's video is going to be on her parcel on her channel so make sure you check that out I will link it down below and then we're both going to do looks with yeah. with our makeup um, separately but obviously we'll link again because it'll still be a collaboration kind of thing like a two-part collaboration yes yeah that's what we'll call never it. been <laughs> seen before I don't think I don't think I've seen that anywhere no I haven't either no we're first we are the first <laughs> people to, to come up with that so yeah, I think we should. I think I think we should get started. Let's get started. Otherwise, we'll never get started, will we? No. <laughs> this is how my parcel came, packaged very well, and I'm quite pleased about that because I have seen the videos, ColourPop. I have seen them, <laughs> the ones where it comes in an envelope and everything's broken. ColourPop, I've seen if you're those watching videos. This, she's seen them, <laughs> <laughs> and I was so worried. But yeah, I'm so happy it came in a box, and it was all taped up nicely. And look. It's a pretty box as well. It's like one of those special PR boxes. It's very pretty. And look at all this. This spongy stuff. It's great. Yeah. It's fabulous. <laughs> right, anyway. This stuff isn't going to be broken, we guarantee. Yes. It's... Um, I can't remember how much I paid for my shipping. It was, I think it was somewhere in the region of 15 to $25. <laughs> but I know that my <laughs> customs charge was £14 altogether. So that was eight pounds handling fee and a six pound VAT charge. So I didn't pay any import fees or anything like that. It was literally just the VAT and the handling fee. Um, so all together, everything came to sixty five dollars. I want to say, but I got five pack five dollars off. So I paid sixty dollars essentially, um, all in all including the postage packaging and then plus my customs customs fee why can i not remember that get in the word <laughs> plus my customs fee so that is quite a lot but i got quite a lot of things so i think it's good it for the it's good for the amount of things that you got yeah yeah usually like one thing would be like 40 from a high-end brand yeah so and this is the same kind of quality of high high end stuff, so and sixty five dollars is like fifty pounds in the UK, isn't it? So yeah, it's cheaper anyway for us. Yeah, which is good. <laughs> Cheap as chips, right? And um, so next thing I got is a little courtesy card, and it says, and I love this. Mine says, and I E I will always love you. Um, X O X O ColourPop. And the next thing in my parcel, the next boring thing to get through <laughs> it's a nice little magazine um it comes with tips and tricks oh, I didn't get that one. on the products did you not no it's no, got no. like super shock shock shadow tips and tricks maximum coverage blending like what brushes to use with it like what kinds of brushes and stuff oh that's good would you like to to borrow it because i've, yes, I've read or i could it. just take pictures of it oh yeah you can um but yeah, it comes with tips and tricks for all the different kinds of products, which I thought was really cute. And then it's got like oh yeah, I did photos in it. Do you, do you, I thought because I just have that page. I thought I just have that page. I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cute because it's not every day that you get something telling you how to do, how to apply the products. Mm -hmm. Usually, you have to go to the website to find that. So I thought that was quite cute that that came with that. I feel like they've made a lot of effort into this international shipping thing. Yeah. So I feel like definitely. a lot of people that got envelopes was in the US. So yeah. like they really thought about the international shipping thing and they don't really like to speak the customers. Well, yeah, because if I paid $65 and £14 on top of that, like, I've paid, basically I've paid like 65 quid for this. Mm -hmm. If I paid that, that amount and got an envelope, I would have been yeah. gutted. Yeah. I, would, I would have been very annoyed actually. Yeah. I probably would have around That's all the bits of paper dealt with. So now it's time to dive into the box. Woo! Gonna... The first thing I bought was a brow pencil. Um, mine is in the shade Dope, Dope Taupe. Is it Dope? Yeah. Is that what that says? Dope Taupe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dope Taupe. Um, comes in a box like this. It's the skinniest eyeliner pencil I've seen in a while. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. The skinniest brow pencil <laughs> I have seen 
in person. I've seen skinny ones online, obviously. <laughs> that is skinny. But isn't the Brow Wiz like that? that yeah. One. Yeah, so that's, that's my only comparison to this, is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills and the NYX fine... Have you seen the NYX no. ones on boots? That have a look on boots because they have the skinny, skinny brow pencils like yeah. NYX as well. Um, but yeah, mine's just the shade Dope Taupe. I got a lighter shade than my eyebrows because my eyebrows are super, super dark and I don't want my eyebrows to look like Eyebrow Dog. Have you seen Eyebrow Dog? Yeah, oh, that's really cute. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't want my eyebrows to look like that. And I think no. if I have like light hair and dark eyebrows, it'll mm -hmm. look like a sharp mouth eyebrows. Mm -hmm. It's not a cool look. So, um, on one end, it's got a little spoolie, and then on the other end is the brow pencil itself. But yeah, it clicks up, and then you can't you can't retract it again. But I have used it a couple of times now, and it does go down quite quickly. For example, eyebrow dog swatch. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can you can use different sides of the pencil to to make different sizes of line. <laughs> Very technical. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty good actually. Other cool. than the fact that I just snapped it off in the lid. Yeah. That's a bit gutting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next things I purchased were two creme gel liners. I love the packaging from the Ray Colourpop. It's so cute. I like the the Holle. I love Holle. So do I. I've got Holle shoes. What? You have to show me in a minute. I will. <laughs> okay, so I got two creme gel liners. I got the colour Honey Dude and I got the colour Exit. But yeah, Honey Dude is like a nude colour. And again, they're mechanical as well. Oh, God, I must have got my tan. <laughs> <laughs> And Exit is the other colour, and that one is white. Yeah, honey, honey, do this on this side if you can see it. If not, Savannah film swatches when you get home. Um, and Exit is on this side. Um, they're basically just your basic bog standard eyeliners, and these were five dollars each. I'm pretty sure. So next, I got four creme gel colour liner pots and I don't I, I went on the website to buy lipsticks <laughs> that's what I went on the website to buy and I bought one lipstick and six eyeliners what can you do I don't I don't know what happened to me I just kind of got sucked in and I was like Ooh, I need they those are colours. really really nice they are so the first colour that I've got here is called dirty talk and it is a kind of silvery gold colour. I love this. This is like what dreams are made of <laughs> in an eyeliner pop, basically. <laughs> it's so pretty, I love it. It's not like yellow gold, I'd say it's more like silvery. Silvery. It's like brown gold. Brown, silver, mm. cool gold. Yeah, a cool tone gold. It's That's definitely not warm tone. And I hate warm tone golds because I think they look really tacky. I have worn, not this one, I've worn one of my other ones and they stay on for ages, like they are actually, and not in a bad way, but they are actually difficult to rub off your eye, so if you get like an itch on your eye, I reckon mm -hmm. you could probably itch your eye and your eyeliner would stay yeah. on. Um, but the other thing I got these for was to use them as an eyeshadow base, mm -hmm. they stay on really well, like that is actually... That, yeah, that isn't coming it's off. Not coming off. <laughs> Savannah's had that on her hand for what, three minutes? And, and even if... I've made my hand red. Yeah, off. three minutes, so it hasn't even properly set yet. Or no. it's like, set that quickly. Pretty good. I'm really impressed with this stuff. Like, I was... i tell you what, guys, I had problems with my parcel. Like, I thought my parcel was in Moffat. <laughs> we aren't in Moffat. No. <laughs> If you it's like right, eight hours away. So say this end of the country is us, this end of the country is Moffat. So I was like, why why has my parcel gone from here, which is where it landed after it left LA, to here? I was like, Where why why is it there? Um but apparently my my tracking got stuck on someone else's parcel. So if you are living in Moffat and you thought your parcel was in Plymouth or Devon, it's not <laughs> it should be a Moffat. It should be. Because I've got mine now. Um, but anyway, moving on. Next, I got a liner called Get Paid. 
and it's a really nice like rose gold coppery kind of colour. It reminds me of pennies actually. Like yeah, the English does. penny. If you have not seen an English penny in person, you need to find someone that has one and see it. Like if you're in a different country, that is. Because um, it's very different looking at a picture of an English penny, I think. But anyway, that is that one. This one is more creamy than dirty talk, like it goes on a bit smoother. Yeah. I think next I got the colour Kicker, which is a nice silver, it's like a well it's just a plain silver like not plain but like it's just straight silver isn't it yeah it's not like, not gun metal or anything like that it is like literally what you think of what what you see that's that's like a 5p or a 10p isn't it yeah again very much like english coins um but yeah i think this that's is what the, you're going for must be i yes. think yeah um this is the only one that i haven't touched yet so i'm interested to see what it actually looks like here i am ruining it on my fingers Ooh. Oh, that reminds that me of moons. The last eyeliner that I got was from the Kathleen Lights, uh, the new Kathleen Lights collection, and this one, just dropping the box, and this one is called Mr. Bing. Um, I've been looking for a brown eyeliner, uh, like a gel one. You don't really find them in in places like Boots and Superdrug. No, you don't really find like the pencil ones, yeah, but not not gel pot liners. Um, but yeah, this one is Mr. Bing, which I believe is inspired by Friends. Probably. I think. She likes Friends. Yeah, so she's sure. obsessed with Friends. Yeah. You know, I've never actually tried a gel eyeliner before. Oh, you need to try it. I really wanted to get the Kylie Cosmetics, um, the new one, the birthday edition one. Oh, but, you know, it's <laughs> sold out. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Do you watch Patty at all? Yeah. She is my favourite. I love her. You know how she's just like straight up, she's like, that is poo brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is poo brown. That is. <laughs> um, I don't want to say it because I don't want to offend offend anyone, but it is like poop brown, it's but not, not in, in a, a bad, bad way. way. No, in a good way. Yeah. That's the kind of price that if I didn't know any better, I wouldn't have ordered this mm -hmm. because I would have thought, oh, that's cheap. Yeah. It won't work that well. Like, it'll look nice for five minutes, but... Colourpop is the equivalent to us, I would say, like, collection, Miss Sporty. But the quality... Price. price. But the quality is better than Maybelline, Rimmel, L'Oreal. Yeah, I think. which... which L'Oreal being the drugstore. most expensive yeah. in the drugstore, I think, because, yeah. like, Rimmel and that was still... They're all, like, like £5 range. Yeah. But... L'Oreal is like seven pound, eight pound, but I, that's still. I think Colourpop. Like that to me, has the same quality as something from. I want to say Mac yeah. or Benefit. Like mm -hmm. it has the same quality as some of our high-end boutique yeah. makeup brands. Honestly, it's so good. Like that is not going to come off my hand now. I bet you. No. Because no, that's been on not. my hand for about ten minutes. So the last thing I bought, which coincidentally I went, I've already said this, but I'm yeah. gonna say it again. I went onto the ColourPop website, excited to buy lipsticks, and I bought one, <laughs> one <laughs> lipstick, one. And I, um, but yeah, the colour that I bought from ColourPop is Limbo, and it's an ultra, an ultra matte lip, um, which I I like them. They're quite comfortable. They're not uncomfortable, I don't think. No. Um, like I have liquid lipsticks that are really uncomfortable. But yeah, this one is like a true chocolate brown. Like yeah, I think of that close to true brown by Kylie Cosmetics. Is, have you got that one? Have you? No, but just for like no, I don't have it. But like just from watching videos and stuff and swatches, yeah. like it looks like true brown. But yeah. I I think yeah, it's definitely like brown, like chocolate. I put this on my lips earlier, and it just to me just reminds me of like. You know when you're eating a chocolate bar and it's just nothing everywhere, it's gone all over your face. Like, I'm not, I don't get that now. <laughs> don't, no, never happens to me now. Um, but you know when you're a kid, yeah. that happens, yeah. Um, that's what that reminds me, but all over my lips, and obviously not, not as messy, and not as tasty. But mm. that colour reminds me of chocolate. That's, that's the only way I can describe it. That's everything that I got in my Colourpop order. Please don't forget to check out Bethany's video, um, because we'll be going through her order as well in a second. Yeah. I will link Bethany's channel down below so if you could go ahead and check her channel out and if you're one of my subscribers and you're not subscribed to her 
you have to subscribe to her because Bethany is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying that she is my cousin, but still, <laughs> Bethany is amazing. So please subscribe, subscribe to her. If you're coming from Bethany's channel, please, please subscribe to me. Please. Yes, do. I would. I would Savannah's love it. amazing as well. Oh, thanks. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video if you haven't already. If you're new here, hello, welcome, thank you for watching to the end, you're a star. Um, and please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also, um, should we do one of those things where like, if it gets to a certain amount of likes, we do something? If this video gets to 100 views by next Friday, then we will do another collaboration? Yeah. 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 We will do another collaboration if this video gets to 100 views by next Friday. So, if you've got friends and family that are interested in YouTube, please watch our video. Yeah, just just give it a watch. Don't even have to like it. Just watch no. it. All I want to say is thank you very much for for all your support and for actually watching. And if you've watched the end of the video, thank you. Thank you so much. Like <laughs> But yeah, thank, thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to s check out Bethany's video. Please don't forget. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>